What is up YouTube? How y'all doing? It's the Doc Wilson here and today I'm bringing you a video you guys probably already can tell from the title and everything else. I have purchased STI seats. Now these are the American STI seats, the US, USDM, US Domestic Market. Yeah, that's the right one. And um, got a problem with one of them. Okay, here you go. Here's a top down view. This is the headrest of the seat. And as you guys can see, headrest is flat, kind of even with this line here. And then if I lean forward, you can kind of see the side bolsters or even with the bolsters on, on the actual seat part, the backing in the seat. Let's move on over here. we we'll move on over to this one. Um, this, this is not in line with that. The, the side bolsters, this one here is kind of in line. Now, seriously, when I first looked at this chair, I thought I was pulling a Happy Gilmore there. I had to make sure I had both shoes on. thought I was his caddy or something. Now, when I first purchased these chairs, uh, I met with a guy. They looked in real good condition. He sent me pictures. The pictures, you couldn't really tell, and it was kind of dark when I went and picked them up. But yeah, that thing's crooked. I didn't know until I got them back home. So now I'm going to try to disassemble the chair so I can fix it, because I believe it's the frame. And I tried to already look up a video on how to do this, and there wasn't one on the YouTubes, so... Corner market! Now, I did find a form out there that does have instructions and pictures on how to do this, which is what I'm going to be following. The only thing is, it's for a JDM version 9 seat, and this is USDM. So, hopefully they do come apart the same. If not, <laughs> we're going to learn today. I'll try to link that down below so you guys can go look at it. Now he does put a, a tools needed section. I will show that on the screen here. So now the first part is to unzip this and um, it just, it has two little places on each side that unzips. These actually tuck up in behind it. So um, if you, I think one of these are already off. You can, I, I, I just pulled the other side off. But if not, you can find like a screwdriver or like a little, one of those that's like got the pick on the end of it and fish it in there and kind of pull that out because it pulls out like that. And then you just unzip it to the top. See, see that, that zips down like that right there. And then that kind of like folds up in there all nice and neat. So you just kind of pull that out and unzip it and you're good. That's done. Also, for some reason, if you're doing this in a car, there is an airbag in here. Don't be stupid. Don't hurt yourself. Don't kill yourself. This one's unplugged. Unplug it, leave it unplugged for a while if you're doing this in a car. I don't know why you would. To me, you just need to take the whole seat out. But some people will try stuff like that. So if you're one of those people, don't kill yourself. Um, and another thing, in case like, you're just trying to figure out how to take this thing off and you're just gonna yeet this sunbuck off, um, the actual like padding, like the padding here, is actually glued to the material on the front. So, you're going to screw your stuff up if you don't take it off right. Now, the actual next step here is to take this little flap that it hooks into and actually get it to go out the front. So, like I said, the next step was to get this one to come forward. Um, what I did, laid the seat all the way back, reached in, and pulled it. Um, that was in there a little bit. So this, this took a little bit of persuasion. I'm actually skipping a step here, and I'm going to go ahead and get the zipper that is in here out. Um, just because I think you should unzip everything and have like everything ready to come off or whatever Because this is not something I want to forget apparently there's like Actually there might not be a bar up here But in the JDM ones there's like a bar up here Now, I did end up taking, I feel like Wilson off Home Improvement right now, where they, it zips up together. I did end up breaking that, but then I just pushed them like close and unzipped it. Okay, so the next step, it's saying to actually lift this up to get to the airbag that is in behind here on the side. The seat contains an airbag and it's like right in behind here. 
and I can't actually pull this up to get to it because of this right here. I've got, as you guys can see, one there and one down here. And those are actually preventing me from pulling this up. It's like attached here. That looks like just a little copper round piece there. Um, I think I'm just going to try to spread those out and get those off and then pull this up. Like I said, I don't know if your alls will have this or not, but uh, mine does. This could be one of the things that is different uh, between the JDM and the USDM seat. I don't know. So I'm to the part where it's talking about removing the airbag and they're held in by these two bolts, one there, one there. And there's a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter nut that holds those in. It's hard to get this here up to like get to it. Um, this was held by some tape. I had to peel that back and this is actually torn just a little bit. It's not bad. I'll stop before it got bad. But yeah, that's that. I don't really know that I have to take out the airbag. But that's what this person done. They're, like I said, switching JDM to work in a U.S. car. So they're switching from left-hand drive to right-hand drive. So they're putting, they're taking the airbag off this side and putting it on the other side. One thing about it, though, there's a bar right here in this. And to get this off of this metal bar, I did have to spread these out. So I ended up, like, while it was on this bar, I grabbed one end and then, like, pulled it like this. Pulled this this way to help spread those out so I could get that off. Um, not really sure how I'm going to get those back on. But, I first thought about cutting them, but yeah, I'm leaving them on. There's also some more up here. Like I said, one there, one there. There's a metal bar in here, and you can't actually take the cover off without undoing these. I've already undone this one. I've got this one to do. You guys can see there's the two piece right there. I'm going to have to spread that apart. So I'm going to try to get this in here to where you guys can see. What I'm doing is I've got this on there. I'm going to turn it like that to where the bar, there out there, pops the bar right out. And I just take these off. Now see, you have to remove this bar, and like I said, there's another bar in this. And you have to take those rings off to get this out to where this whole thing will come off. I was actually glad I was able to catch that. I hope that looks good. Hope you guys can see that. But yeah, to get this off, there's one here, one there. Both those are still in the seat. I'm gonna try to use them later. I don't know how well this is gonna work out putting it all back together. You guys also wanna see this massive freaking spider I killed? The thing was freaking huge. It's probably the size of a half dollar. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Like whenever I stepped on it, like its legs went out. Like I seen its legs sticking out the side of my shoe. Like that's my key fob next to it. Like look how big that, like that thing could have fit like inside of that. That's dead now. So now this also talks about taking the top off of the bottom, which I'm going to do because I do need to work on the top alone, not with the bottom. Because I don't want to like mess up the gears on the inside to like recline the seat and stuff. So to take off the bottom, they say that there's a screw underneath here. It's also on the driver's seat. Um, there's a screw in here where you need to take this off and also on like the other lever that like adjusts the height or whatever. So like right in here is actually a little bitty cover. And that just pops in and pops out. I actually just used a one of these little picks here and was able to stick it in underneath it. Was able to like to stick that in underneath it and like pry it out. I also use this one who which has like a little bent. See, it's a little it's a little bent there on the end, so I use that one as well. Kind of got in there, popped it out. Got to be careful not to stab yourself in the hand. Those things freaking suck when you stab yourself in the hand with them. Know from experience. You actually pull out this way you don't pull up you actually you got to pull out a little bit and there's this plastic piece right here it's kind of hitting it but yeah you pull out this way and then up and that comes off now that that's off we can end up unscrewing the rest of this panel so there's a screw here one right there and then one directly in the front as well and one right here you can unscrew both of those it, it took a little bit more strength than I thought it was going to to pop that out, and uh, but it finally popped out. Um, I did not break it, so it's good. And there wasn't one in the back, but it was like with this. It was on there a little bit, but there wasn't. There's not actually anything holding it in. There's just the one holding it in, and this was like kind of stuck on there a little bit. And after I kind of popped that out, you don't want to just rip it because you have to get past that handle. So you have to like pop it off, and then the handle sticks through here, and you have to fish it out. So yeah, that's one side off. Now this one here was kind of the same as what the other one was. There was a screw here and a screw here. Um, 
and then this one was kind of on there. The seat belt part was actually like pressing up against it a little bit. So uh, there is actually nothing that's holding this that's like clipping this in. And this is pliable. It's not the hard plastic. It's like a soft like rubber material. And uh, to take this off, I just unscrewed both things and wiggled it some and was able to actually pull it out. I've done these steps a little bit, whatever, but uh, I'm going back to the airbag. The airbag's right here. Um, it has been unplugged for a long time. It shouldn't go off. If it does, I guess this will make for great YouTube content. I don't know. Um, right here, I've, I've tore it a little bit. Didn't mean to, but I tore mine. I don't really know how else to get this off. This extends up to about right here. So I can't take this up really any higher without tearing it. I've, I've, been, I've been trying not to. But uh, I'm, I'm like prying. There's tape here and there's tape up here. You guys can't see. I've, I've tried to take it off by hand. But I'm pulling these off the screw holes. I think there might still be tape holding that in. Should... It's not, but it should just, I don't know what's holding it now. <sighs> Feels like tape. Yep, I believe it's tape that's holding it. So I'm just like feeling in there with my hands, trying to remove that tape. So I can get this out, hopefully. There we go. So I tore that tape. Um, yeah, so this is an airbag. Now I've got to remove the 14 millimeter bolts on both sides to try to take the uh, backing off. So I'm removing the uh, 14 millimeter bolts on this side. There's one here and one here, two there. Uh, I think there's two on both sides. I already broke this one loose with the breaker bar. I'm using a breaker bar instead of a uh, ratcheting gun because I don't want to take a chance in messing these up. And they're actually not on there as tight as what I thought they would be. Um, like you've seen there, they're probably on there by a good uh, one and a half to two Ugga Duggas. So um, yeah, they're not they're not actually on there like super freaking tight. So uh, I just broke those loose. I'm gonna get a ratchet and uh, ratchet those off the rest of the way. So I actually lied. I'm not gonna take those off all the rest of the way. I'm actually gonna break these two loose as well. Um, that way I've got both. I got all four sides broke loose. Because what I don't want to do is take one side out and then still have one side in, and then not be able to break these loose. So see. That one there actually, it's a pretty smooth turn. I'd say that's that probably was like a like a one ugga dugga. They're not actually on there that tight. Let's try this one here. Yeah, that's about that's about one ugga dugga. Wasn't even on there all that tight. So um, all right, now I'm gonna take them all off. Now this part, the guy on the website said this was a pain in the backside. Um, my kind of technique that I'm doing here, um, there was this, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but there was a, a piece here and I'm pulling that out and I'm kind of like pulling it forward towards the front of the seat. Um, the side bolstering is like part of the frame. I'm pulling it around. That's kind of uh, what he recommended to do. You can see this side over here. I'll bring this closer. This right here, it pulls this way. So that's what I've done for that piece. Um, the other side doesn't seem to be coming as well, but it's still kind of going. Um, yeah, there we go. So see, now I've got now I've got both sides kind of like this one, and um, I'm just kind of working my way forward and down some. Um, yeah, that piece is out. This piece is out. Uh, he said just take your time. Home 
stretch though, boys. Girls, childrens of all ages. Wow, I think we've got it. There it was, there it is. We've got it out. So now, here it is. This is the frame. Um, after I've took it out, uh, the frame is bent. I don't know how well I can show you guys this on camera. I mean, yeah, look at that. Look how twisted that is. Freaking thing is mangled. But uh, yeah, it's twisted. I've got the, but I've got the cushion off the frame. Um, I will try to bend this back and then kind of repeat the process to put it all back together. Just watch the video in reverse, I guess. If this video was helpful, please let me know down in the comment section below, like seriously. Um, I'm making this video for people like me because um, there wasn't a video out there whenever I make this one. I don't know if there will be afterwards. But um, I wanted to know how to do this and I really didn't know what I was doing other than that uh, following those instructions. So for anybody else out there, if this helped you at all, let me know. Please leave it a like. Um, if you want to subscribe and help me out, that'd be great. Appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all on the dock side.